pam 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 Hello, everyone, and we've got the first box of Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty here. We're going to unbox it right in front of you. I've uh, been waiting for this for a while. I ordered it in September, and that's when they announced it, and it took a while for their first one to come out. So we need to see, we need a box cutter somewhere. I think this will be appropriate enough. Yeah. And so once again, it's, a, it's a, my first unboxing in quite a while because I unsubscribed to um, Loot Crate and um, the Marvel box. I mean, they're, they're kind of piling up, but I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I thought I'd go with this. So once again, you'll get a quick peek at what's inside. I don't know what's inside yet, except for the uh, Platinum uh, Captain Phasma uh, vinyl that they announced a while back. But here we go. Just a little bit. Yeah, you saw that something I didn't. So gonna close it up a little bit again and let's go ahead and start I'm just gonna blindly open it and reach around whoops what's the first thing here well you know what you didn't really get much of a peek inside because just like the marble one there's a there's a little fold in the cardboard so so we got a patch of the first order Give me a good look at that there we go and ooh, Star Wars pin of of Kylo Ren. I can wear that to the premiere, maybe. That's pretty neat. All right, it's just like the Marvel ones. The Marvel ones always come with a pin and a patch, and that's how they are. Okay, and the first thing up, oh, t-shirt. There we go. And let me see. That's the triple X, right? Shut up, yeah, I took a triple X. It's nice and loose. I can take a double X, but I prefer triple because it's nice and loose. So there. Alright, and there we have it. Look at that. A little Stormtrooper pop vinyl. There's a t-shirt that's very cute. I like that one. All right, yeah, that's your flex. All right, very cool. All right, off to a good start. These are twenty-five dollars with about fifty dollars worth of stuff that come by uh, monthly, and this is the very first package of Star Wars uh, Smuggler's Bounty. Let's see what else we got here. A lanyard, also with little stormtrooper pop vinyls on it. It's from Funko, so expect most of it this to be pop vinyl related in some way. Um, here we go. Uh, I, just as I said earlier, the Captain Phasma Platinum. Oh, that is nice. I was thinking about getting this, starting this collection, and Captain Phasma is one of my favorite looking characters out of the entire series. And so I was waiting forever to find Captain Plasma, even an action figure of her, because just love her look. So this is definitely my favorite thing out of what's come in this package here. Um, let me, you know, I'm going to put it back in. And last but not least is TIE Fighter Pilot uh, Pop Vinyl. So remember, these are sponsored by Funko, so expect a lot of pop vinyls in these. If this is the way you want to start a collection, that's probably the best way to go. And that is, looks like that is it for the first month's box. No comic unlike the Marvel ones. You know, there are Star Wars comics, you know, out there. But it's still pretty cool. Um, I really love that Captain Phasma, and the t-shirt's pretty awesome as well. So, that's it for the first one, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And one more thing I wanted to mention is that, uh, it looks like this this month's theme was actually that I didn't notice till now, like the first order. It was nothing but villains when you look at it. I mean, even the box was just Kylo Ren, Kylo Ren pin, first, uh, first order patch, Captain Phasma, <coughs> pardon me, Stormtrooper t-shirt, Captain Phasma, and TIE Fighter Pilot pop vinyl. So yeah, it was all uh, first order. So probably, 
I'm expecting the January box to be the re resistance. Anyway, now I'm saying goodbye again. Bye-bye.